Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, Must Love Labs. My name is Alan. On this channel, we discuss tips and tools for how to raise, breed, and sell Labrador Retrievers as quality family pets. So if you're new here, you might consider subscribing. In today's video, we're gonna show you step-by-step step how we did a new kennel build on a concrete slab. Let's get to it. Okay, so first things first, we had a concrete company come out and do some site prep, build up the forms and bring in a load of concrete. And um, if you don't know how to do concrete work, I suggest you hire a professional. That's me, I didn't trust myself to do it. We've got a, um, um, a 15 foot by 10 foot six slab and I wanted it done correctly and I wanted it done right. And I didn't trust myself to do flat work so I hired these guys to do it. And uh, I gotta tell you that they came out and did a great job. Uh, I was a little worried about, you know, should I hire somebody? Should I try to do it myself? And uh, after the project was over, I was so glad that I hired somebody to just come and take care of that. If you know how to do flat work, uh, that's great. You know, what these guys are doing right here, if you know how to do this work and you're comfortable with it, absolutely have at it. But if you're not, I highly recommend you hire a professional. So uh, you're probably wondering what this cost. Uh, $2,260 was the complete tab on the concrete slab, all said and done. So I was pretty happy with that. And there you have it. It takes about a day for it to cure. They brushed it at the very end to give it a little bit of texture. And then they came back the following day and pulled the forms and now we're ready to put the kennel on. Hey folks, if you're getting value from this video, do us a favor and hit that like button. It sure does help out quite a bit. And thanks in advance for doing that. So if you've been following the channel, you know that I use these Retriever Lodge kennels from Tractor Supply. Uh, I used their kennels and their dog houses, and I already had one uh, with the expansion panels in this slot. So I took the expansion panels away, and I brought in another kennel and another dog house. So we're actually going to do two uh, side by side. This is going to be the, the bachelor pad here for my males, for, for Sam and for Wyatt. And we secure them with these galvanized anchors. I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but these are the tools that you're going to need. You're going to need a hammer drill, you're going to need a regular drill, and you're going to need these Tapcon concrete anchors. Uh, and you're also going to need some galvanized hanger strap. And I'll, I'll show you that here in just a minute. And I'll put links to all this stuff in the descriptions to the video so you guys can go on Amazon and take a look at it. Yeah, this shows you pretty good how we anchor these down to the slab. And I use that compressed air so that you got to blow the hole out after you drill it out with a hammer drill. Uh, and if you get those Tapcon screws, they even give you the correct size bit. You're actually supposed to use a, a, a downsize by one bit so that the screw fits correctly. And what I like about the screws is that you can back them out later. Uh, so if you wanted to move the kennel or go with a different configuration or just change something up, uh, you, you can back them out. You don't have to bust them out of your concrete. You don't destroy your slab. So that was why I chose these Tapcons. Here's a closer look at them. And again, I saw, I'll, I'll link these up so you can look at them on Amazon. Uh, Tapcon screws and some galvanized hanger strap. It's the best way I could figure to anchor these, and it's working out just fine. So there you have it. We got our kennels anchored to the slab. Uh, the dog houses assemble real easy and go right on to the back of the kennels. And I wanted to bring it back here and show you why I use two separate kennels. I've actually got a space down the middle between them so that if I need to, I can put a sheet of plywood in there and give these guys some privacy from each other. So here's the finishing touch on the slab work. I need to put some one inch clean rock around the base so that the material doesn't erode out from underneath there over time 
and weaken my, my support system for the slab. So we're going to put in some one inch clean around the edges to finish it up. Well there you have it. The slab project is complete. We've got the kennel anchored down to the slab with some good tap cons and some galvanized hanger tape. And we've got our one inch clean around the edges to prevent erosion. And it's looking pretty good. I'm happy with the way that the slab project turned out. And, um, and now we'll go up here and, and take a look at these kennels. I gotta tell you, I really love the door latches on these Retriever Lodge kennels. Uh, they're adjustable, so you can adjust them a little bit and get them to where they just work super smooth, and I really like that about them. And as you come in, you'll notice that we went with the chicken wire or the poultry netting, whatever you want to call it, on the roof of the kennel so that uh, nobody climbs out, nothing gets in, and I like that for the dogs. And we come down here to the back, and you notice one of those Barron's uh, galvanized and hot-dipped buckets uh, that we use for the fresh water. Those are two and a half gallons, and we use a carabiner to secure them to the wall so the dogs don't dump them over when they get, get to messing around with them. Now these latches are dog proof, but I go ahead and put a carabiner in here just to make sure that door can't come open. And you could also put a lock on there if you wanted to. Uh, I've never had one of the dogs be able to open one of these doors. And uh, if I have my way, they never will. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's how we keep them secure. So we got to wondering exactly how many of these hanger straps to put in and uh, we put one at each joint. Every place one of the panels meets another one of the panels we put one in and uh, that's what was recommended and it, it's going to hold that kennel down just fine to that slab. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier we put a space in between the two kennels uh, just in case the dogs uh, if we needed to put a piece of plywood in there to give them some privacy from each other. Now over here we've got fresh water available for cleaning out and giving them drinking water. We've also got power and lighting for running fans and heating pads and whatever else we need to do. So the total cost on this project is around $3,500. That includes the concrete work as well as the kennels and the dog houses. And Sam and Wyatt have a concrete floor bachelor pad. They seem to like it pretty good. If you'd like to learn more about breeding dogs, you can click on this card right here and watch our playlist for how to become a dog breeder. You can always check us out on the web at mustlovelabs.com. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.